to talk about you guys so i live in new york specifically brooklyn and i be outside you know enjoying summer as i should and i've been going to the block parties all of that good stuff you know the day parties has been a time but the problem is the men just stare at you they just stare at you the whole time they don't approach you they don't want to get to know you they don't want to oh do you want to drink it's just a staring contest the whole time i'm trying to figure out how am I supposed to meet my future husband if the men are not approaching? Because I'm not approaching a man. Like, it's giving the men want to be chased now. That's what it's giving, and I don't like it. I find that suspicious. Ladies, you have to understand, it's your fault that men are the way they are. Men have tried approaching you. You diss them. Men have tried to be gentlemen. You take advantage of the nice guy. A lot of the guys don't have time to play this angry, dysfunctional guy that you like. They just want to be a regular guy. You've made it hard for men to approach you. You're making it hard for men to be in relationships because the average girl out here wants to be liberated and do what she wants. So men stop approaching women. Why? The juice is not worth the squeeze, but it is on certain women. So when we're talking about why men are not approaching women, they're not approaching majority of women, but it's still some good girls out here. But understand, ladies, what you're getting from men right now, you brought this on to yourself. The bitch is there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying, trying to get my, my coochie, coochie stretch. stretch. I'm trying to get my coochie, coochie stretch. stretch. Mm -hmm. And eat a nigga ass. We be eating niggas today in London. Period. Baby. I'm trying to get this coochie stretch. Man, oh man, oh man, one thing that I can tell you, you have to love these ghetto broads. They're not good to wife up, they're not good to be friends with, but when you're on the outside looking at them acting ratchet, at times it can be entertaining. Yes, Shekana has made her way over to the British, and you already know what time it is. You cannot take that ghetto-ness out of these women. They take it everywhere, and just to think. Generation Z women are looking up to girls like this. They have bodyguards. They have fame. They have fortune. They've already sold their soul for a fake world. The people I feel sorry for the most is the women that are trying to be this. But for guys like me, we love laughing at these biscuit heads. This is going to sound harsh, and a lot of you guys are going to be upset about this, but you guys need to stop having children with men who are not trying to be with you, who are not obsessed with you, who do not want kids with you, and then complaining about how they are bad fathers. Because you are bringing children into dysfunctional families and then getting upset about the ramifications of a dysfunctional family. If you are such a good mother, you had the ultimate choice on who was going to be your baby's father. And you chose out of selfishness. And then you want to run your mouth talking about, oh, he's not a good father. But are you a good mother? Because why did you have a kid out of wedlock? Why did you have a kid with someone who was not entirely excited and obsessed with having a kid with you? One of the reasons why a lot of women go through this is because when they're younger, they just like to chase the guy that doesn't like them. It's very animalistic whenever it comes to human beings. We operate just like animals. Women would rather go out here, have fun with the guy that gives them the biggest dysfunctionality that don't like them, that just has their mom boggling. And then the woman says, if I have a child with him, maybe this will change him. If I have a child with him, maybe that'll get him to stay. If I have a child with him, maybe he'll become a good father. What she's not understanding is you're only intrigued with the conquer. Women ultimate goal is to conquer a man one way or another. That's why even when you get the woman, you still have to oppose as a challenge because once she gets you, the game's over. So a lot of these women are baby mothers because they are trap babies. They're trying to trap the guy into being the guy that they want him to be. Hi, my name is Jessica Ho. I'm 24 years old, was born in 1990. And I love black guy. <laughs> One of my preference is black guy. And I love Malaysian baby too. Yeah, she, her dream is basically uh, meeting a very good black man and then have um, some very cute Malaysian babies. <laughs> so I hope, yeah, you achieve that dream. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, first of all, <clears throat> I said they are generous about the thick lady. So, you know, the Korea just emphasize skinny body shape and slim body shape a lot. So if someone who are fat or thick like that, the most of Korean people say, oh, lose weight, lose weight. And you have to 
on a diet. But like I just said, no, 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 keep it, lady. <laughs> no, no, don't lose it. It is you. Okay, you're not bad like that. So it was very impressive about that. Guys, you do like thicker women, but I've also said in videos before, women in other cultures, right? Whenever they cannot get their own culture and they feel low in their own culture, they always come to the black community in order to feel better. Everyone does this. If you get a woman from another culture to like you and you ain't really got that much money going on, chances are somebody in their culture did not want them. That's why I say in a lot of cases, guys, it's good that they want you, but understand there's always a reason behind it. And liking thick women is not a bad thing, all right? On a diet, but like I just said, no, 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 keep thick, lady. No, no, don't lose it. It is you. Okay, you're not bad like that. So it was very impressive about that. And second, they are humorous. So they are good at joking and being funny almost every moment. So I said I'm a, a funny person. So it is very good same point. And, and then uh, last, uh, no, no. Is the third reason so mm -hmm. sexy? Their body shape and their skin color is almost uh, most of things are very sex sexy. Uh -huh. So it is very attractive point to me. Mm -hmm. And the fourth reason is the cute Malaysian baby. So it's gonna be very uh, interesting thing to me. And You're right, like she said. When she has a baby with a black man, she thinks that the baby is pretty. Most other race of women think this as well. This is how a lot of you guys get hooked up with white women, especially like trashy white women. It's because they want a cute kid. But if you notice, not a lot of women can actually give birth to a black child the way it needs to be birthed. Most women that do give birth to a black child, it normally drains them. It makes them look older. Right. If you see a lot of Chinese women who have had black babies, the Chinese woman looks older. You can see all of this definitely, definitely with white women. Most white women that have black kids or mixed kids, they typically look older because it takes a lot more for them to actually carry a black child. The new reason is that it's not absolutely, but they said, oh, I don't like the alien plastic surgery woman. One of my dating black guy passed in the past and when he saw the plastic surgery center signboard on the subway station and he said oh it's alien i hate this so i asked him why you hate this and he said it is not real it is fake now to me this was the highlight of the whole video is when she said black guys do not like plastic surgery this is what I don't understand about black women. You get a lot of plastic surgery thinking that black men like it. No, little black boys like it. The ones that have been emasculated likes that because they're programmed to like whatever you like. But a real alpha black man that got his life together, that has his mind right, that has graduated from a Negro to a black man does not want a woman with plastic surgery. Black men barely like women who, who, who wear makeup. Let's get real. We can deal with women without makeup. It's other race of men that cannot deal with women without makeup. But for the most part, a black man can deal with a woman without makeup and without plastic surgery because we can accept women's flaws. They like real women, not plastic surgery. Yeah. So yeah, it was very touch point. Yeah. Yeah, James told me um, if I change or anything, if I get any plastic surgery, yeah. like he's gonna leave me. <laughs> they like natural face. He like my squinty eyes. Now that's a feature that most black women don't get is exactly what they said. When a black man likes you, he likes you for who you are. You don't need to change after that. Which is why when we get with women, we like for them to be who they are. You don't need to go out and keep changing your hair color. You don't need to go out and keep putting new clothes on, keep buying shoes. When we like you, we like you for who you are once we accept you. We normally battle women that are mad that we hate when they try to change, but they always feel like they got to change so they feel different. You know, some of the things that we kind of gone through, um, 
while dating a black guy, you know, um, you you right now you're kind of like seeing one black man, <laughs> well, not really like not stable boyfriend yet, yeah. right? Yeah, but um, yeah, you're seeing one person, yeah. and then also you're in a relationship and you're 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 engaged, <laughs> yeah, to one. So um, well, the first thing that you have to go through is your parents. Everybody, almost 99 percent, they have to go through their parents' approval. It's and, exactly right. Yeah. And in Korea, like getting a parents' approval is a very big deal because marriage is just not just us. You know, marriage is family. You yeah. really became a one family, so it's yeah. a very big deal. Let that be a lesson to a lot of you guys that if you're going to deal with a foreign woman, like she said, it's going to be, be it's going to come down to her parents. Her parents has to approve it all. So. In order for her parents to approve you, make sure you're a black dude that's on top of your game. You just can't be any black dude looking to be with a foreign woman. Parents like, you know, like my parents or her parents, like they're older than us. So their thought is not quite open uh, as much as like young people like us. 99% of parents uh, firstly refuse the black boyfriend. Because in my case, my mom said, "Oh, I will be ashamed. Because how can I say my son is my right. son-in-law is black? I'm very shy to say my neighborhood and my family." She said like that, and I asked her, that, "Why? Why is ashamed? What is different between Korean guy and black?" And she said, "It's very unique, and I cannot endure it." And she and she is also not sure. Anyway, but she just, well, the two be in the... This is what a lot of you guys are going to face when dating a foreign woman is approval from their parents because they have higher standards. Now, what I want you to understand is that a lot of African-American people need to understand is that you complain about a lot in America, but when you go to other countries, they hate you even more. Matter of fact, the hate is real deep in China right now. You can't even go to China. A lot of this is what a lot of black people need to understand. The reason why people look down is because of rap music. It's because of what they're seeing on TV. Even though you may individually think you're, you're different. Look at what the masses are looking at on TV. Look at what their kids are following. This is how come the black community is always looked down upon from other races of people. Hopefully you guys were able to get the message behind this video. All right. Sometimes the grass is greener on the other side. Don't be afraid to test it out, but don't think everything's going to be a winner. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, subscribe. House of La Vista.